Happy Wednesday. Oh, yes. We're here, Brenna. How is everybody? Well, there's Cindy. Poor Cindy. I felt so bad for her. What happened? She placed an order, and it's one of those never-ending backorder situations from Aesthetica. Oh, girl. Aesthetica is... Wait, is she the Aesthetica? Well, I mean... (laughs) I don't even... They have the longest backorder right now. You know my memory is... Not as long as aesthetic as back yeah. orders. <laughs> <laughs> if only your memory was as long as aesthetic as back orders. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's see. We found out yesterday that Ellen and Silver Sun is back ordered till October. October. Yeah. And Jet Chocolate Smoke is back ordered till August. Right. So if you're watching this and you've thought about ordering it, just don't. Just don't. Either that or if it's, you know, if it's not the Because chocolate- I ain't giving mine up. <laughs> I mean, I love y'all, but that chocolate smoke is just my favorite. So if you're if you're curious about back orders, call us. Um, and if you have a specific or send question, a message. Or send it's a... probably easier to send a message. Yeah, because we're not in all the time right now since we're not open. So, oh, okay, we got Ohio, West Virginia, Chicago. Indiana. What happened this week? It seems like something happened, and I can't figure out what it is. Something did happen, and I can't remember it either. Oh wow. Well. Yes, Donna, it was sad. I'm sorry. Donna is one of the ones that wanted the yes. jet and chocolate smoke. Hi, Pam. Okay. We'll get it eventually. Oh, someone is <laughs> knocking at the door. That must be in a delivery. You all, no, look, we have signs. We have these, oh, we have these big signs, Misty made. Oh, yeah, because I'm an artist. Yeah. And they're in neon pink and neon yellow. And it says real big in the window, deliveries. And there's an arrow to the mail and copy store and an arrow to the pool store. Because UPS would just drive right by and they'd look and they'd see that we had a note on the door that said we were closed. And they just keep going. And I mean, I want my wigs. I want my deliveries. Mm-hmm. And I got people that want their wigs. And so we had to put a stop to that. So it's tacky. I kind of thought it was pretty. I took a picture and sent it to Marsha and said, like our signs. I'll, I'll post it. <laughs> I, I mean, granted, you got to do what you got to do to get that UPS driver to deliver your goods. The Rona has got us all <laughs> in a sad shape. I know we're doing all kinds of things we never <laughs> thought we would before. I mean, how excited was I about getting a leopard skin mask in the mail? Oh, you know, every time I go out, which is like twice in the last week to get something, I've worn it and I've got compliments. People like my mask. I had someone tell me it was a sexy mask. I was even in line at Sam's to go in and this man and his wife were behind me and you know how people talk. I mean, we were doing our six feet. Okay. Morning. But uh, she got, I told her where we got them and she got a line right then and ordered one. The leopard was out or yeah. cheetah, whatever. It, well, we got paisley and we got leopard and we got black, but I, I knew. I all those animal prints mi- mixed up. Cheetah, leopard. The only one I know for sure is zebra. Just wild. <laughs> just wild. We'll call it just the wild. <laughs> I thought we had somebody from Israel. Corone Penn. Hi. How are you? All right. Who else is here? Lots of people are here today. Yeah. Arizona. Amsterdam. Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Oh, Wendy. We're going to cover your color today. Shelly says the Rona has her hair looking fabulous. <laughs> Trust me. Northern Ireland. I know. I know. Yeah, I All trying. right. Today, Oregon is in the hat. Oh, Lee Crandall, hey. Okay, first of all, let's cover the obvious. It's already been, I mean, I, I kind of am tired of saying it when we get getting all these phone calls. We are we're we don't know when we're going to open. Um, we are subject to the state laws because we are a licensed salon. Um, so whenever the government says we can, we will. Right. So um, in the meantime, our website is up and running, and so far we haven't had any problems. I can't believe it. No, and you're looking at the shipping and receiving department. Right so. here. Yeah. yeah, she's she's good at it too. She puts it in this little pink paper and puts a little sticker on it, and it's been. I mean, you know, what else do I have to do but mail wigs? And we're mailing a lot, so that's up and running. So shop mimi'sdallas.com. Check that out. Um, I'm still loading products daily. So if literally, if you if there's a wig that you want and it's not on there, if you will send me a message, just go to the contact us on the website. I'll put it in. You can order it right then. So just give me a few minutes. Yeah. So that's up and going. Shipping and receiving. That's we have no problem. Active with department. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. We even have a big roll of bubble wrap. We oh yeah yeah we're we're professional. Well, not really, but Damn. we're working on it. Um, oh, 
What? I don't know what else. We're about to have a caption co- caption this contest. We haven't done that in a long time. And trust me, I got a good one. Yeah, she she's always looking for something where I'm doing something silly and she found it. So, Well, actually, I didn't even find it. Marsha. Actually, it. Marita. Oh, I noticed it. My sister asked me. <laughs> okay, this was last Wednesday or Wednesday before. It was two Wednesdays ago. And I'm just hanging out over here waiting. Don't tell to... them what it is. Oh, Okay. All right. It's going to be a surprise. But my sister asked me about it that day. She's like, uh, what was Kim's problem? <laughs> I'm like, wait, what? So I had to go back and look. Anyway. All right. So the governor has come out and said that if everybody behaves, that we may be able to open on the 18th. But there's caveats to that. Um, they have to see a whole lot of positive things happening with the virus. So that's our goal. Um, it's not set in stone. But I'm going to be ready for... May 18th, and if it gets extended later, then it gets extended. But we'll be ready. We will be and ready. Hopefully, everybody will behave. That don't mean just show up at the door, though, on the 18th. No, because there's going to be all kinds of restrictions. So, um, anyway. <laughs> this lady calls yesterday, and I didn't even finish saying Mimi's Big Boutique. And she's like, oh, thank God you're open. I'll be there in just a few minutes. I'm like, wait. <laughs> oh, I know. Just, just, no, 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 just, no, no. Wait. <laughs> all right. So, today, we're going to do John Renault Colors. Yes. And... and- Tammy says that she has her John Renault color ring out and can't wait. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Actually, uh, oh, I have packets. <laughs> this is so that hopefully we don't say the wrong thing. It go, it gets a little bit I tricky. I guarantee you I'm going to say the wrong yeah, thing. Yeah, it gets a little tricky because um, you read something and there's more on, there's more color codes than what are published with what we've got. But um, we're going to, we've talked to Georgia, our rep, who's wonderful. And she's kind of tried to clear some things up for us. So we'll just go through it. And if you have questions or need clarification, if we don't answer you live while we're, uh, reading your comments, then send us a message and we'll do the best we can to answer it because we don't have all the answers. We just hope we have most of them. We, we yeah, we, we say a lot, but that doesn't mean it's the right answer. But first off, um, if you go to our website, shopmimisdallas.com, there is a section at the top that says wig color swatches by company or something like that. Okay, if you go down there, they're not all loaded just yet, but the most difficult ones I put first because if it's a bunch of numbers, that's what we're talking about today, then if you've never worn wigs or say, for instance, you're used to wearing, you know, Noriko and theirs are all named and it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, I put the color charts up there and under John Renault, I put this handy dandy little chart, which we're going to use. It's hard to see with the lights, but, um, it's, it's at the very bottom. So if you want to look at what we're looking at, um, and that's always going to be there. Okay. Can I go first? You can absolutely go first. Okay. So the first thing to know is the basis for color for wigs from the very beginning were numbers they weren't names they were always numbers and they they had a numerical guideline one being black um anything that you get into like the 20s are going to be blonde 30s are going to be red generally um well no to 30, 30 33. 33 but then you get to 38 and that starts gray and then it kind of jumps around a little bit but that's the basis so when you start talking about the names um, of the colors, it, it starts with a number on John Renault. Now, on other brands, it doesn't, but we're we're only talking about John Renault today. So, um, for example, I'm going to use my color as okay. an example because I love this story. Um, I wear 12 FS8. 12 is kind of a light brown, and 8 is dark brown. So it's never made sense to me why this color was called 12 FS8 until I talked to Georgia, who has all the answers. And when they came out with this color, there was um, one of the girls that worked at John Renault that had the most beautiful blonde hair, but she wanted a topper and she had a hard time matching. Um, So they created this color based on her hair. Um, And it was the front part of it was like 24102.12 fully blended and then F. S8. So F is for the, F is a blended color, and then the S is shaded 8. So they decided that was too many numbers, so they shortened it, they shortened it to 12 FS8. And so to my knowledge, I think that's really the only color that I've been kind of puzzled about, where it's like, that just makes no sense. 
Well, I mean, it's the thing is you don't have to know all these colors that we're talking about, but there are some basics to know that kind of carry across um, some of the other uh, color or wig companies too. So we'll kind of go through those. Aesthetic is another really, really confusing one. Really confusing. Um, Tony and Beverly kind of can be, but I want to address the hairdressers out there, the hairstylists, the beauty operators. Okay, we got a lot of names depending on what era you're from. Like whatever, depending on your so, age. <laughs> um, let's, let's talk about that first. It has no correlation whatsoever to a, te a true hair color line, okay? So if you're, normally my hair color in, um, if I were to color it, is a level five means nothing in a wig there's not a level five in a wig so don't you even if you're not a hairdresser or a hair whatever you want to call yourself um don't think okay well you know i'm gonna just go get my hair colored like this wig and i wear a 12 fsa and run to your hairstylist and say i want a number 12 okay number 12 first of all you're gonna have melt off your hair if you try. <laughs> so anyway just just get that out of your brain try to separate the two and just don't even think about your human hair okay this is strictly synthetic and if someone asks if we're doing the heat defiant and or the regular, they, they're the same. They look a little bit different because they're different fibers, but color line, they're the same. And someone described it to me, which I thought was a great description. If you had a hot pink blouse and you had it in linen and you had it in silk, it would look different because the fiber is mm -hmm. different. Same thing, even though the the dye lot could the dye could be the same, it's going to have a little bit different application depending on the fiber. So the heat defiant fiber looks a little different than the regular fiber. For but sure. today we're just showing regular fiber. All right. Okay. This chart that I told you about, let's just go to it. Hold on. I have on Cameron oh. in large oh, cap yeah. by John Renault in 12 FS8. What do you have on? January. What color? 10 RH16. Okay. This is one of the colors we're going to talk about. Okay, we'll go. Um, but I just want to tell you, these on this chart, if you're looking at it on our website, the um, some of these apply to their human hair wigs. So if, if you don't ever see a wig with an RN in it, that's because that doesn't mean it's synthetic. It's natural. So, all right. All right, Dreama. Is that, no, that's Donna. Donna, John Renault does not have a color close to chocolate smoke. I know. Um, I've got that one color, that... 2V31, which is not chocolate smoke, but FS2 it's, v it's gorgeous. It's got, it's, it's really dark. It's got more of a violet like tint a to it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. But okay. that's a signature John Renault color. All, All right. right. Okay. So what do we want to start with? Let's start with 1016. Okay. There are, what I can find, three different 1016s. So Misty has on 10RH. The R stands for... And oh, RH wait. is Renault okay. Highlight. I can't do this without my glasses. It's like their signature highlight, which is um, the base color, which is a 10. And then if it's an RH, that means that there's 33% highlight. Okay. So this is... So I, I am 10 RH, which means I have a 33% highlight. Okay. And then this is 10H16. So it's the same two colors used the only difference is this is blended so it's not as chunky as what misty has mm -hmm. on and it's got 20 percent highlight so it's it's just it's a more blended color then we go then they throw something else in the mix yeah they go to fs 10 16 and the fs is their fashion syrup collection with bold highlights so it's going to be even more highlighted. A little bit more chunky. Than what Misty has. Sorry, that's loud in the microphone. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, this is, I mean, I'm we're not talented. even telling you what the styles are because it just doesn't matter at this point. But this is the FS. So you can see my highlights are kind of small and a little bit more blended. This is chunky. They call it bold. I call it chunky. So when you're looking at, when you're trying to evaluate colors, um, these letters that they use are significant. And it, it's it's going to mean a difference in what you get. So if you look at one wig and maybe it comes in 10H16 and you see another wig, it's 10RH16. And you're like, oh, they're the same. Well, they're the same blend, but they're going to, they've blended the color differently. And I don't know this. This is 
definitely not from John Renault, but it's just a personal observation. I kind of tend to think that they're doing a whole lot more of the RHs and the FSs than they are the regular H because everybody kind of wants that salon just been highlighted look these days and they Agreed. don't want more blended. Um, so that's what we'll go with. So uh, if you see that, you know that H is a 20% highlight. RH is a 33% highlight, and an FS is a fashion syrup. That's what it stands for. So, I don't know where they get the syrup part. It just makes me want waffles, but um, anyway. But it's FS. Bold, bold highlights. FS. Bold, like I like my waffles. Yeah. <laughs> like a Belgian waffle with lots of butter. <sighs> okay. Maple syrup. Okay, anyway, we okay. haven't ate, eaten. <laughs> Let's go. Well, let's move on. <laughs> well, not in the last five minutes. <laughs> oh, I did. I had some cashews. You know, they say if you have a handful of cashews, it's like taking a Prozac every day. That's <laughs> you, why I bought that big you, thing at Sam's. You need a couple more handfuls. I need like a whole bucket every day. Okay. Okay. We did kind of touch on this when you talked about your F, uh, your 12 FSA. Mm -hmm. um, if you see an S and a number at the end, that generally means that's a rooted color, a shaded color. So, and whatever number follows it will be the number of the root. So, hers is a shaded with a number eight. <laughs> Shelly. Ooh, I'm now bold and not chunky. That's my new oh, body yeah, style. I didn't think about that. <laughs> no wonder I'm gravitating to chunky. Because <laughs> I feel it. I have a connection with Well, chunk. I mean, the thing is, for me, if I'm going to have a couple different colors, I want you to be able to see them. I don't want them all blended. Right? But everybody's different. There's no okay. right or wrong. It's what you like. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. Let's go on. Let's go on. How about we touch on that infamous dash? Oh, the slash. Slash. That's not a dash. Dash. Slash. Okay, so I've got a color 832, and it's 8 slash 32. So it's 8 is going to be a brown. 32 is a red. Is it a backslash or a forward slash? I never knew. I don't know. It goes that way. No, it goes the other way. Well, I'm just saying, that's how we tell people. You can't see. That's okay. Anyway, so this is going to be blended 50-50 because it's 8 slash 32. Um, and you get this beautiful color. It's got some warmth to it. It's a nice 8 to medium brown. 32 is got it's kind of auburn. So when they blend it, you get this really beautiful, rich um warm brown color mm -hmm. but that's when you don't see any letters and it's just the slash you're going to have equal parts of both yeah they do an 830 and 832 630 you know there's not a ton out there but yeah if you ever just see a dash 50 50 oops why do i keep saying dash slash i don't know beaufort north carolina my um cousin lives there She's getting married. Maybe it's her and she's incognito. No, I'm going to go to the wedding. It's in... No, um, I, I meant on here. No. And she's wanting to see if you act right. <laughs> I got a whole lot gonna, of people watching to see throw, if I act throw right. you throw you off with a, a question here in a minute. You just wait. That's just wait. All right, what's next? Um, Let's do um, F. Did, did we not do F? No, we didn't do F. No. So this is called 32F. 32 is red. And F stands for a blended color with it being darker at the back. What's so funny? Oh, she's putting the forward dash, backslash, and that equals a dash. I, I really do know what a dash is. I don't know why I keep saying it. Okay. So this has got highlights in the front, but you can see it's dark at the back. So anytime they put an F at the end of it, um, that's going to mean that this part's going to be darker. So 32F. Now let's go to... MBF. Well, yeah, or MB. Because th what they do is they put all these things out there, and then they start combining them. Somebody needs to be fired. Well, it's probably me. I don't have an MBF. It's the one, it's the dash, to fire the dash. Okay, well, we'll talk, do, I don't even know if we have an MBF back there. But an MB is what we're talking about now. MB means a mixed blend. So, I don't know why they just didn't put the slash. Yeah, I don't either. And what different? <laughs> then we've got some people from John Renault in here, so we're probably just like really like. Yeah, so confusing you. But if it if it's an M B, it's a mixed blend of whatever 
colors it's got in there. And then they can throw an F on there. So it would be an MBF. And they make um, 27 MBF, which is red. So it's going to have blended at the front. It's going to be darker at the back. And that's really the color I was looking for. Yeah, and, and so that's... Okay. Um, what's next? T. Tipped. Yes. The, the controversial T. Dashing chunky. I'm just reading. The comments are going too fast. I don't really know. Okay, so this color is called 27T. 613s8 so it's going to be 27 is red 613 um, is one of those outlier colors that goes off the charts because it's a really light blonde with some gold to it and then um, the s8 is the shadow the root with a color eight somebody just asked what that wig was it was a julia in 32f this is a julia too so this is um again 27 T613 S8. So you can see how that is tipped really light at the bottom. And then you've got the blended colors up here and then the dark root. So that's what it means when it has a T that it's going to be tipped. 27 tipped with 613 S for shaded and then 8 for the root. And then it gets a little trickier. The next level of T. Yeah, I'm okay. So I ask what wig does Mimi have on? I don't know who's Mimi. <laughs> she in here. I don't know. Yeah, I got called Mimi yesterday. I missed you. So I anyway, I have on January John Reno 10 RH16. Kim has on Cameron uh, large cap. Yes. In 12 FS8. And Cameron's 100% fully hand tied. Misty has trimmed out a side swept bang for me. So um, she's done a little face framing. So <laughs> Darlene says, I'm so confused. I've been confused <laughs> for 12 years. That's why we're trying to do this. <laughs> we're so, yeah, we're still confused. So, um, you know, the, the thing is, when every time we've had somebody new start here and they're like, it's, it, I'm telling you, it is like, it takes a year to kind of familiarize yourself. And then, even then, I tell people, I still go back there and open boxes sometimes yeah. because, you know, it's just, you got to look. Well, and everybody sees color differently. And so sometimes, if you haven't seen it in a while, yeah, just, you know, I'm looking, I just open the box and look. Oh, we got one more. What? This is kind of self explanatory a V. It, oh. Which has, to me, I don't know, it's, it's, because that goes back to, I've been a hairstylist and, you know, we're talking undertones and hair color, but a V just means a violet tone. So this is the color I was talking about earlier, the FS2V slash 31V. Sorry. Oh. You can't take me anywhere. Chocolate cherry. So it's got a violet base. It's got some good, beautiful, chunky highlights. And this color on the right person is just drop dead gorgeous. Okay, and they're still asking about our wigs. These are all John Renault. We're doing all John Renault today. So Cameron, John Renault. Okay, so that 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 covers the chart that we have on but our we, website. We got stuff off the chart. We did, because I mean, I'm telling you, y'all. I've printed off. I don't know how many pages. I'm. It's literally a booklet, because. On top of everything, inevitably, somebody's going to call and say, oh, I want this or that in, I don't know, Eclair. I don't know what that means. Yeah. The, you know, we go by numbers. Right. And so, um, thankfully, now we have this cute little piece of paper that says Eclair is a 24BT18. You know, I mean, so, but numbers are always best. But yes. That's what all this is. Okay. Um. Oh, and the new, the new colors. The Arctic colors. Yeah. So you've got B. Where's your piece of you've paper? You've got PK. I got it. I got it right up here. you got <laughs> PK, which is pink. PL, which is plum. Um, BL, which is blue. And I, that's it, I think. So, yeah, P, uh, yeah, PK. And then they'll put, you know, like the pink. The frost color wig that's pink is FS60. 60. 60 is white. PK, which is pink. So it's got a pink hue to it. And then S18. So the S is the root and the color of the root is 18, which is a uh, lighter ash brown than the 8 that a lot of people have. 
Teresa said they should just use big pictures more. Mm -hmm. We need to have a, a, a dry erase board behind us <laughs> because I, I am confusing myself. Okay. Anyway, um, we do have, um, we haven't colored, covered a TT. Yes. So this is called 1026, 10 slash 26 TT. Remember and, the slash. And so um, this is 10, a blend of 10 and 26 equal parts. But the TT is two-toned. So when it has two Ts, it has nothing to do with tipping. It's two-toned. And yes. that was something I never knew until we started kind of working on this I didn't project. Either. I'm just like, it is just because it is. Yes. Okay, and I think that's all of their little codes. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. But if you're on the website and you say, okay, you know what? I love that Julia wig. Let me go to Julia. And... That drop-down list is just a bunch of numbers and letters. If you now you can actually go back and see and know. Okay, oh well, this has an S eight at the end or an S four at the end. I don't, I don't want a root. So you'll know anything in John Renault that ends in an S in another color is a root. So you can disregard the the roots, you know. And you you know that one being black goes all the way up to you know. Well, it's all listed in the color chart. We made it easy for you. But also keep in mind, when you're looking at those color charts, um, that doesn't mean every one of their wigs comes in every one of those colors. Yeah. So you still have to be mindful of what style you're looking at. So um, go look at the, the chart and I can tell you. Correct. Yeah, uh, we know. They're still in our images. Um, Leah says that our images are being used on Facebook to sell jet. So that goes back to our whole scam. Well, if it's jet and chocolate smoke, trust me, they can't get it. Right. Even though a lot of those places are in China, but our wigs aren't made in China. Yeah, if you're getting a scam wig, generally they are from China. But our, like she said, ours, none, we don't have a single company that comes from China. Okay, the website address is shopmimisdallas.com. No spaces, no dashes, no slashes, all lowercase. I'm going to put me a dash in there. You know I'm going to put me a dash. <laughs> don't even, don't, you're going to confuse people. <laughs> they know. <laughs> Hi, Judy. There's Judy from Ponder. Hi, Judy. <sighs> We're just dying to see people. We can't wait till we open. I know. Although we love um, talking to everybody. It's been nice to talk to people on the phone and do some virtual consults. So it kind of feels like we're just sitting there having coffee and visiting. It's nice. Kim, Kim's getting really good at those virtual consults. It's, I mean, you just got to prepare for it, but. As long you as you put as, makeup on, you know, I'll tell you what, I only have makeup on on Wednesdays now. I, well, well, I, I actually did my hair yesterday. Yes, you did. And she comes in. And I'm like, I haven't seen you do your hair and I don't even know when. And I picked the wrong day. It was humid. It fell and it went in a ponytail. Well, I forgot my makeup this morning. I had to go to Walmart this morning and buy makeup. That's why I look different. <laughs> I, no offense, but I mean, I just haven't bought makeup at walmart and i don't even know when i didn't know what to buy hi belgium <gasps> hi new york city okay let's let's talk about lynn lynn says what does the a stand for such as fs4-34 slash 33 slash 30a we talked about that a means nothing <laughs> absolutely nothing i wanted the answer to that question and you know John Renault start, I mean, it's like every company out there, things change and you develop and they've got a wonderful research and development department that creates new colors and their creativity is insane. But, you know, back in the day, they made a 30A. Nobody really knows why they called it a 30A. So the A doesn't mean anything. You just, all you really want to pay attention to is the 30, which is going to be red. Red. So. Hi, I just have to give a shout out, Judy Shaw. Hi, Judy goes to my church. Oh, she does? I miss church. I miss I seeing everyone. I just miss, I never knew I was a social person. I always thought I was kind of an introvert, you know, unless I had to be extroverted, which is at work. Oh, no, I miss people. They probably don't miss me, but I miss people. They miss you. Melissa wants to know about your Walmart once you post your Walmart, Walmart makeup haul. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you look real good. You just if if you just put enough on, then it doesn't matter. I've no, noticed where you get it from. It just doesn't matter. <laughs> All except for my lipstick. My lipstick is lip sense. Oh, Judy misses church, and she's from Oklahoma City. Hi, Oklahoma. Oklahoma's opening up though. 
they opened up before um, we did and we're, we're, we're more um, phased, I guess. Speaking of, Diana um, commented a little bit ago. She's still in the hospital. Still thinking oh, about you, Diana. She's yeah. in Oklahoma. All right. Okay. Um, Gina is commenting from John Renault. We asked the factory what A meant on 30A, and they said it doesn't stand for anything. It was just put on the code to differentiate between 30 and 30A. <laughs> But why? But there's, 30 there's no still difference. A 30. Yeah, she put LOL. She knows that's a funny. Oh. That's funny. That's real this funny. Is, Thank this you. Is, well, okay. If if we could give, you know, any um, feedback to John Renault, oh, it's just so hard. <laughs> just simplify it. Just name them. <laughs> Think of well, no, not at this point. Well, okay. Day. I'm I'm old. And when you I started old. working here, I was 14. And all there were were color charts. So I'm actually better with the color charts than the names because the names don't make sense to me. They don't describe the color properly. And so they don't. But I mean, it's just, I'm just, like with Renea Paris. I mean, when you say dark chocolate, it literally looks like a bar of dark chocolate, you know? And so a lot of it is just, it's kind of common sense. And, and what's hard for me and what was hard is that coming from a salon, you know, when a number eight, was blonde and then you come here and a number eight is a medium brown that's why i'm like i'd just rather have a name but anyway all right somebody asked about my lipstick it's called mod magenta by lip sense three coats uh and i've got bougainvillea gloss on i have nobody asked about mine but i'm gonna tell you anyway <laughs> it's bella bella's been our most popular color bella's like my yeah i wear bella almost every day but today she didn't want to be like me today or maybe well, you had yours on first. No, I get washed out, and it, it's just a long story. <laughs> this this seems like we have talked for two hours, because this is confusing. This is confusing. Um, again, if if you are on the website, you have any questions about color, feel free to message us. Um, this is a lot to take in, and a lot of times, um, trying to figure out the differences. You know, you can pick up, you can send us an email, and we'll go. Oh well, this one's chunkier than this one's more blended. So. This is a really good question that we didn't address. We tell people that come in here all the time. They ask to see our color swatches. We don't do them. No, we at don't. All. We don't. Um, but we also are in a position, we have such a huge inventory that we pretty much have a, one something in every color that every company makes. It is rare that we can't find it. Um, and the color, squat, the color swatches never represent the color. It's always going to look different. So right. you really need to see it in a full wig. And I mean, even going a little bit further, a short wig, in a color it looks different than something that's mid-length and straight you know when you start putting layers on it, it looks a little different so mm -hmm. um it, it's very style dependent but if you're at home and you can't get into cs then by all means if it will help you you can order a color swatch yeah yeah you so can. all right Donna says she's already forgotten everything me too <laughs> i forgot before i started um, but that's okay yes because i made us packets <laughs> Sorry. Do I have to read my packet? Yes. Um, there's going to be a test on it. There probably is. We're going to have flash. Of, oh, we should have done wig flash card color flash cards. Guess what this is? Or name, yeah, I can name hold that. I can name hold that, that color. color, and you have to say, "Oh, that's a 30A." Kate, you're right. It's really hard to tell from a tiny pick what the color is. Um, it's hard from the. Uh, Swatches, too. Oh, she's so sweet. Judy sent us. She's like, have a bottle of wine on me or chocolates. <laughs> I love her. I love you, Judy. Uh, all right. What's coming up? So we've got the caption contest. Mm -hmm. That'll be posted either this afternoon or tomorrow. We've got, do we have another gray video coming out? We do have another gray video that's going to be coming out in the next few days. And that's for long, mm -hmm. long hair. Long. Mm -hmm. long. We've already done short. We've already done mid-length. And um, we're going to do long. Definitely not as many long and oh, we what? have something else. What? Um, I talked to our rep at Noriko today, and they've oh. come out with this Mother's Day line. It's just two styles, but they're sending that to us, so we're gonna uh, do a review on those. So stay tuned for that. I have no idea what they look like. I've, I think I've no clue. I think one's a beachy wave and one's a pixie or something. But I, I, I've seen pictures of them. Um, they're machine made, so they're just regular cat wigs. Um, very limited color range, but. Okay, Jody wants to know who to avoid from online. It's, there's too many to go make a list. Here's what you need to look for. 
you need to look for an exact brand and then a color that is stated. Um, you'll see these sites, they'll post Misty's picture because she looks so great and everything. And they'll say, beautiful, sexy, blonde wig for white woman. Okay, don't buy from them. Uh, or it'll have some weird description. You want to know what brand you're buying and you want to know what color. Um, and there's reputable sites out there that do that. Sister Wigs is a reputable reputable site. Um, Wigs.com is a reputable site. I'm sorry, um, I'm just reading their comments. <laughs> The Wig Outlet um, is a place where they sell some outlet things, and um, so you can, they're reputable. Um, although I think some of theirs, because it's an outlet, some of theirs are seconds. Um, it may be some overstocked items, but they're not or a return, scam. Maybe return, yeah, they're not scam. Them. They're not scams. Um, so it's easier to tell you who's Another good than it is to tell you all the bad places because there's lots. Is to check for, for spelling errors and grammar. Right. I mean, in the description, so. Sorry, but if it says, you know, if they're spelling everything wrong and if it says you pick wig for you, <laughs> I mean, no. Well, it usually says you pick. I mean, sometimes I make errors like that in our stuff, but it's most always in Yes, Jordan, you're right. Or just shop at shopmimisdallas.com. So, thank you. Absolutely. Oh, good. A AW says she shopped from the wig outlet and had a good experience. That is wonderful to hear. I know they're reputable. Okay, so. <laughs> Somebody said in, an all, in another universe, I'm a fourth grade teacher. So what? In another, in an alternate universe, I'm a fourth grade you teacher. You are? Uh-huh. I'm like, <laughs> it's so sad for those, those kids in that other universe. <laughs> oh, goodness. And somebody asked about Paul Young. I, you know. We are never going to tell you, we're gonna, never going to bash another company, another line. We'll always give you our honest opinion. And wigs are just like shoes or clothes or whatever. They're just our different quality levels. So Paul Young is very popular here in the United States. So it's not like you're getting those from China. I don't know where they come from. But um, if you, if you, just whatever quality It's, it's a different level level of quality from a fiber standpoint. Mm -hmm. They have some beautiful styles. They do. And they're a reputable company. Uh, but it's just a different um, level of quality. So. Mm -hmm. I could just sit here and talk and just to read what they're saying. Because it's like we're actually communicating with people. I know. And you know the good thing about that is? Huh? We can turn them off. Turn what off? If we get tired. You can't do that when you're in real life. If you ever just want to, I don't, not that I want to turn any of you off. I don't. But I'm just saying you have, you know, those people in your life that you just realize you're zoned out for the last like five minutes until they ask you a question. And then you're just like, you're like oh, 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 I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I think she's talking about me because oh. sometimes I'm like, I told you that. Um, yeah. And, and she'll, half go, the time she'll go, she'll go. Oh, uh, oh yeah, you did. Do you know what my secret is? But can is? you tell me again? Do you know what my secret is? <laughs> this is why I'm overweight. You're you're great at I like nodding and acting like you're listening. I eat all the time so that I can say, "Oh, I'm sorry, I was crunching." What did you <laughs> say? <laughs> oh y'all, I know all your tricks, and I know you're talking about me. I'm really so. not y'all. All right, I hope everybody has a wonderful week. We're going to try to keep some exciting stuff coming your way. Um, I don't know when the next sale is going to be. But we will announce it. Um, and I don't know what it's going to be. But I know we're going to have a caption contest. And I know we're going to have a video coming out on the gray long wig. So yes. stay tuned for that. Um, Gina is commenting. Um, oh, oh, they have a list of counterfeit sites if you want to check them out. Um, yeah, she's commented them on there. She's put a link. Can you put that link on um, mm -hmm. Misty will post it's, that it's link. It's not an actual link. It's She's listing their sites. Wigsdo.com. Um Ho wigs. <laughs> oh, I remember ho wigs. H o w i g s. Ho wigs. <laughs> when we were trying to come up with a name for our um, online site, why didn't we think of that? Yeah, right. right. It's already taken. <laughs> ho wigs. Yeah. Mimi's ho wigs. <laughs> oh, Misty. Sorry. That is my mom's name. Well, I, I was just making a joke because ho wigs. Anyway. Oh, wait, that's a sensitive Stop. place. <laughs> I didn't say she was. I said hers. <laughs> As in us. <laughs> All right. Linda. Loida? Lo I don't have my glasses on. Uh, Loida. 10RH16 is what Misty has on. Yes. Okay. 
Yes, we have Parker. It's not on the site yet. I need to add it. I just added what I, what I knew we had right now. So I'm I'm just kind of adding. And I haven't checked the status on Parker lately. It was back ordered for a while, but I'm thinking that that's probably been flushed out. Uh, what are you laughing I at? I just feel so bad because you made me but, think because I said Mimi. I, you, look, you love my mother. I know I that. I do. So I'm not worried about it. I'm and just, I love your aunt. Which one? All of them. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a great week. We will see you next week. Same time. Same place. Um... What else? That that shut me down. All right. Y'all have a words. great week. I'm speechless. It's a first. It's a first. <laughs> She's speechless. Have a great week. If you haven't already, we have a presence on every social media site that we can figure out, which is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Um, so just check us out there. Follow us. We'll make all of our announcements there as well. So that'll include when we're going to be able to open and, and things like that. So just, you know, check us out there. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.